G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, before we get into this video, I have a brand new song out. It is called Back Pocket Plugger. You can watch the video on my YouTube channel or you can stream it on Spotify and iTunes. It's up to you, but I have a new song out, so if you could give it a share, that would be greatly appreciated. But in today's video, I'm going to be playing AFL Evolution. It is going to be Team Talls versus Team Smalls. It's going to be one team of the tallest players in the AFL, filled with rucks and key forwards and backmen. There's going to be another team for the smallest players in the AFL, filled with little forward pocketers and back pocketers. I'm going to be playing on Team Small, and we're going to try and get a win against the big tall boys. Let's get straight into it. The smallest players in the AFL versus the tallest players in the AFL. Look at the size difference there between the captains, uh, Caleb Daniel and Brody Grundy. I'm a little bit worried about our back line. Our forward line will do the talking. Look at that. Eddie Betts is the ruckman. That That is cause for some concern. <laughs> to toss the coin, Caleb Daniel is our leader and our captain. And here comes Gruns. It doesn't look like a big height difference, but there is. <laughs> Unless Caleb Daniel shot up a couple of centimetres in the last training session. Um, <laughs> oh no! Oh, come on. Eddie Betts, just make a contest. Alright, here we go. Trying to put a bit of body on us early. Our tackling should be up to scratch. Well done. Good pressure. Our ground ball's going to be the key and the pace that we have. Well done, little fellas. Dev Smith out of full forward. Not a drop of wind. Beautiful day down here in Tassie. Devin Smith comes in, and we draw first blood. Braden Proust off, Max going on. All right, so they're really going to have the advantage in the ruck because <laughs> Robat's just trying to win it down. Gorney has decked Zorko. Once again, we don't want to kick to a contest, but I think I might have to. Where's Dev Smith? Great lead. Great lead by the boys. And the little fellas to draw second blood, to get the second punch. Dev Smith is the GOAT! Snags galore here at Tassie. Quarter time, two goals to zero. Devin Smith just running them ragged down in the forward line. Great job, boys, don't change a thing. We've somehow won two out of the five hitouts, which is, I'll take any day of the week. We're handballing. I think that's what's catching them off guard, our run from the back line. Dane Zorko and Tyson Stengel have been massive. Tipung's been important down in the 50. It's a great start by us, boys. If we can keep it up, we're a real sniff. Oh, well, no chance there. Gone, Marks. If they just kick long to the contest, they should work us around. So Sean Darcy comes in. He's one of the tallest on the ground. And he's missed. Lacking a bit of skill, the talls. <laughs> it's just drive by city to the talls, isn't it? We can just outrun them. We're outrunning them. We're running rings around them. They're getting beaten for pace. Look at this. This is a handballing clinic. Catch us if you can. Zorko Smith. Oh. <sighs> Devin Smith has marked an absolute handballing clinic. And we've kicked three. Devin Smith has kicked three. Almost party time for the uh, the little boys. Well, they got to put a line in the sand, the tall boys. They're getting... Oh, well done, Betsy. They're getting an absolute bath by the tiniest players in the AFL. Devin Smith's kicked four. Devin Smith has kicked four. Essendon, if you're watching, probably aren't. Put Devin Smith one out in the goal square. Oh, the Oompa Loompas are really taking it to Andre the Giants. Eddie Betts is mopping the ruck. Look at us. Walters. This is a clinic. It's a serious Daniels. Spargo. Well done, Charlie Spargo. <laughs> oh my god. Clinic time here at uh here in Tassie. Here in Launceston. It's the pace. We're beating them for pace. I'm late. Let's go long. They should mark this. And they do. I tried. No. I've steered away from my um my tactic. We cut it off. Here we go. Look at us. Look at the pace on the little fellas. Look at this. Look at the run. Daniel's decked. Oh, they're out. They need one now. The tall blokes. They need to start lifting. Naismith. Good kick to Tom Hickey. 
He's going to have a shot. No, he's not. Kicks inboard. Cut off. And that is half time. Half time here in Launceston. They weren't afraid of the bigger bodies. They weren't afraid of the bigger men. Well done to my little minions. <laughs> We've won four hitouts. We're only losing the hitouts by three. Well done to the little fellas. Dane Torco's been huge. Ballantyne. Tyson Stengel has been a real find in the back line. I think he's like the second smallest on the field, but he's been huge. Tim English is having a crack for the tallies. Charlie Spargo has kicked one. Oh, let's try and blow him out. Let's put on a real clinic. Surely we can hold on to a 28-point lead for a half. Well done, Eddie. Oh. They've come out and tried to be a bit more physical, but we're running them off their feet. Walters. It is a little man's clinic. Walters puts away our sixth. And we are taking the P155. They're just too quick. They're too quick for the tall blokes. Oscar McInerney. They need one now. They need something. Stengel's been best on, but couldn't quite mark that. And now the eel will have a real chance to give the tallies their first. Big chips in board. No, no one wants the responsibility. You don't want the responsibility. McInerney now lines up. And he's kicked it. They're starting to work it out now, the tallies. It's only taken them three quarters. Aaron Sanderlands. There's no chance Travis Collier was going to mark that one. Good spoil there. Oh, no, I've ran into trouble. Stengel. Uh, couldn't quite. Who's this? Tim English. He kicks it. And that's two in a row for the tallies. And this to keep the game alive. Sean Darcy kicks it. It's the third in the row for the Tallies, right on the three-quarter time siren. I think we went away from what was working in the first three quarters. I think we started to get cocky and kick to contests. I'm almost 100% certain if we just keep the ball on the ground and keep this handballing, this run and carry handball game going, we will finish off with the victory. But, uh, yeah, as I think they're on top of the moment. So I think... The first goal and the first 10 minutes is very important. Come on, boys. Let's bring it home. I was winning the ruck. Oh, what on, Zorko. Walters. Throwing the ball. We were almost out. Here they come. Tim English starting to get involved. Scott Lysette, the tallies. Well done. Who was that? Great spoil. Stay at the back. Oh my, oh, that would have been a class goal. Oh, Eric Hipwood going for the absolute ridiculous. Tim English has arguably been their best forward. And he's arguably turned the heat on the little boys right up. The pressure cooker goes up a notch now. Four in a row for the Tallies, and it's a nine point game. The little fellas are starting to run out of legs. Come on, Betsy. Come on, boys. She was our handballing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Lockie Keith. Lockie Keith. Out of anyone. Anyone but Lockie Keith. And in the space of a minute, they have all the momentum, and it is a three-point game. Come on, Eddie Betts. Eddie Betts competing hard in the ruck. Good boys. Keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Keep the pressure on Gorney. Oh, who's on him? Nick Nat. Well done. J. Kennedy Harris. Now, that's... Where are you going, mate? Oh! Braden Proust has absolutely sat on me. Momentum firmly with the tall blokes. Ah, Billy Longer. Good fist. Just hold on. That's got to be holding the ball, umpire. Ball up. Deep inside the tall bloke's 50. Come on, Rovat. If there was ever a time to win a ruck tap, he couldn't. Spells out. We're out. Just kick the space and we can run. Hold it up, Pooh. Let's go long and wide. We need a sealer. If this hits the ground, we are on. Put a bit of tackling pressure, boys. Butter up. 
Butter up, great hands. Keep running, son. Oh, he got decked. That's unfair. Go, Tipung. We need you, Tipung. We need you, Tipung. Well done, Tipung. Well done. Well, oh no, the handball was disastrous. It's absolutely game on. It is a hot footy. It is hot, like hot chips on a summer's day. Great hands. We've done well. Where's Tip? Yes, Matera. Go long. No. They've got to go end to end. They've got to go end to end and they've got to go quick. I don't think there's enough time. He's going to go short to Tip. We're going to hold on. 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 The small leagues have done it. Unbelievable scenes. <sighs> they were coming home with a wet sail. An absolute wet sail. And we've done it. Well, it was the pace. It was the pace of the little fellas which got us over the line. Um, we played well for three quarters. I don't think we really... We might have scored one goal for the last half. That's pretty piss poor. But, um... Where are we? The little fellas have done it. All right, guys. I want to say I appreciate all of the support. Um, if you want to see another video like this, comment down below your idea and I will play it. Once again, thanks for watching another video and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.